What's up guys, this is Corey from Antibytes Gaming and right now I'm going to go through a tutorial on how to get Alien Isolation working with the Vive headset for full 360 motion tracking and using Vorpex and allowing you to record that with OBS. Uh, we went through a lot of trouble to get this going for our Alien Isolation playthrough so I want to help people out so they can get the same thing going. So the first thing you're going to need is Vorpex and Vorpex is a, a third party tool that allows you to make games VR that are not made to be VR, a 3D VR. And it'll put the game right in your headset, and so instead of normally watching it through Steam VR in a cinematic uh, view, where you're kind of like in a room, this one puts it right on your face and gives you, and we're setting it up for full 360 motion tracking as well. Um, so first thing you're going to need is Vorpex. You can find Vorpex here, it'll be in the description. You're going to need to buy a license for it to work, and it'll be easy to set up after that. Once you have the game, you simply click on Start Vorpex. Uh, you can find that in the Start menu or on the desktop wherever you put the shortcut. Uh, that'll run Vorpex in your taskbar, and it'll. You can configure it for the headset you're using. So we're using the Vive, so you need to set device device selection to HTC Vive. Uh, Vorpex has some useful tools. Game settings optimizer. It um, allows you to optimize the in-game settings for a specific game you're using with Vorpex. Unfortunately, Alien Isolation is not on that list, so we had to do our own optimization. So once you've got Vorpex running, uh, you need to go and start up the game, uh, and it should pop up in your headset, and you push the delete key to bring up the Vorpex menu in-game, and it has a number of tabs that allow you to configure the Vorpex settings. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Display Settings tab, and set the turn on direct mode show original. So Alien Isolation, I'm not sure if this is just something with the game. When you play the game of Warp X, the on-screen window that appears with it is just blank unless you turn on direct mode show original. And that's necessary in order to record it with OBS. Next, you're going to go to the input settings tab on the in-game Warp X menu and turn on partial override for left and right stick. So that'll allow head tracking to override left and right stick in game so that means if you move your head around to look in the game while also using the right stick to look your head will override that basically it just allows you to do it so that because if you don't turn it on anytime you click move one of the sticks you lose head tracking until you restart the game so you need those two on you can then use you can leave the buttons off so you can still use the same buttons. You need to set the game in-game settings to windowed full screen at 1280 by 1024. 1280 by 1024 is a recommended resolution for Vorpex games. They say that it'll look best with the field of view set. If you can go into the in-game setting and increase the field of view to around 120, even better. So those settings will allow you to see the game on your screen while playing it in full 3D tracking. Once you do all that, I've got that set up, let me show you. So right now it's currently up in my headset and it's also up on here. So now that we've got the game running fine and full 3D tracking, which you'll see in our first playthrough, how it works, uh, you need to get, we, I'll show you how to get OBS to record it. It's simple actually. Now that we have the direct mode show original on, this window that you're now seeing is now playing on the screen. You simply set a monitor capture game source in OBS and set it to this window that now appears. And that'll allow you, since it's windowed full screen, you'll see now it allows you to see the full game on the screen while also playing it on the headset. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it took us a while to get it figured out everything. There's still some sometimes a frame rate issue. The turning on direct mode show original sometimes reduces the frame rate in game. The weird thing is sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I don't really understand why. We've just been dealing with it. I think I've covered everything. If you have any more questions, let me know. I can't show you the Vorpex menu just because it only appears in the headset. And the way I'm recording it right now doesn't show it. Because it's right now it's on, but you can't see it. So if you have any more questions, please let me know. And that's it. See ya.